Hi, yeah, I'm Nicola from We Have a Hawk. Hi, Nicola. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good, you? Good, yeah, I'm great. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so jump straight in. Uh, so there's a great complex and strain, but also really beautiful emotional connection between Alfred and Bruce. Hasn't really been explored before. How did you approach and delve into this sort of more emotional take on Alfred and the like almost father-son dynamic? Um, well, that, a lot of that is down to the fact that that was M- Matt Reeves's vision, you know, for 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 this particular take, and and what was going to define, uh, you know, where 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 he chose to land the story, which is of course a, an early version of, um, you know, year two of Batman. So he's still becoming, he's still finding that way of expressing himself and and searching and kind of rejecting the past and and so so and and the past being the way you know the, the, his privilege and the Wayne dynasty and and everyone who stands for that which includes Alfred and and that is a very puts Alfred in in such a, a, a strange position because he's so dutiful and he comes from a world of you know he's an ex soldier he he worked for the secret services obviously became self you know a security protection officer and 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 uh, truly admired everything that that um, Thomas Wayne stands for. So, mm-hmm. so it's it, it's a very you know Matt wrote that v- beautifully. I think that sort of complex relationship um, that would that was that meant that they they you know unlike other Alfred Batman relationships where they're sort of together and and facing yeah. the foe together, there was an internal kind of struggle and and that their relationship is you know is on shifting sands almost and and yet there is there is a kind of ultimately you know hopefully we see uh, that they will come together and there will be a way forward at some point but but at this particular point it's it, it, it the gloves are off you know yeah <laughs> uh, so this album gets to have his own explosive scenes including some oppressive deduction skills uh, what were your sort of first initial thoughts when you read the script for the first time well, the great the great thing is, I I I, I was very privileged because um, because Matt and I had worked together on the Apes movies, and so in post production of War for the Planet of the Apes, he he started to sort of explain to me his notions for the film. So so I almost had a um, you know during the course of him writing it, uh, uh, and, and I was backwards and forwards to LA and sort of dropping in and seeing him because we remained very close friends, and so we, he would he would talk me through various different aspects of the story and show me concept artwork and um so i so i sort of had a, gr- a, gr- a really sort of gradual appreciation of the world that he was trying to create and what he was trying to do um and so i never so it wasn't like a cold read of a script where you kind of go yeah. oh my god you know so i you know it, it was very much a kind of part of the dna of me reading the script having been informed in the way that i had been definitely and a lot of the film's sort of core characters sit in a sort of morally gray area which i find really fascinating yeah. uh, they do what they believe is the right thing do you think alfred's actions were right or potentially not <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, he is, he's flawed. He is, a, the, you know, the, 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 like you say, they're, they're kind of almost all flawed characters or, or, uh, and, and, and swim in that grey area for sure. And, and Alfred, without question, will have in his life committed, you know, acts that perhaps he's not particularly proud of, but, and, and, or back to the wrong, you know, side of history in a way. Um, so, so it's, it, 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 but, but for that, I think it, it makes him, I mean, he's not, he, well, the thing about Alfred is he's not, he doesn't have the emotional toolbox to deal with the, the, the messy consequences of that. You know, he's, he is someone who is quite fixed in his viewpoints and uh, you know, that, that takes a lot to shift him, um, which is why this challenge coming from, from Bruce is very, uh, you know, unsettling and almost leaves him, kind of impotent in a way at, at times in, a, in knowing how to deal with it thank you so much for your time today and i wish you all the luck i love the film thank you thank, thank you. you thanks you.